so we all know the great white can be a pretty big shark. Not quite whale shark or basking shark size, but it is the largest predatory shark. There is a bit of a controversy on how big they get, and I went into this in the how big can a great white get video. Now there have been some extraordinary claims, but if we look at the evidence, we don't really have any verified white that's much longer than 20 feet or so. Now just to get this out of the way, this is the exception, not the average. So for those who say, well if 20 foot is the average, then maybe a 30 footer is, I'll stop you right there. 15 to 16 feet is the average for a female white shark, so 20 feet is above average, a good bit above. Perhaps some whites have reached a gigantic 23 feet in length, and maybe some could have been a little bigger, but considering the 23 footers are already up for speculation, I think I'm already being a bit generous with the size. Anyway, I already made that video, so why am I talking about white sharks here? Well, I got some interesting comments under that video about tiger sharks. So tiger sharks are the second largest predatory shark, right? Well, I got a comment claiming that tiger sharks could grow bigger than great whites. At first, I didn't really think much of this comment. No offense to the commenter, but I get some strange comments about sharks, so I thought maybe they just made a mistake. But then, I got more and more comments saying that tiger sharks could get bigger than great whites, and my curiosity was spiked. So I decided to look into it a bit more and found some surprising sizes listed for tigers, some very large claims, and today I would like to talk about them. Now if you want a TLDR and don't want to be strung along, I'll just say now that from what I found from the evidence, great whites are the largest predatory sharks. I'm going to go into detail as to what I think caused the confusion and where I think the claims come from and look at how big tiger sharks can really get. But if you're only interested in tigers versus great whites, then I'll just say now, great whites do get bigger than tigers. For everyone else, it seems that the common consensus about the maximum size of a female tiger shark, again, female sharks are bigger than males, is about 18 feet or 5.5 meters, and that they would weigh about 2,000 pounds, a little over 900 kilos, which is one heck of a big fish. I mean, sometimes I don't think we realize just how big that is. Pull out a measuring tape and measure out 18 feet. It might shock you just how large that is, but that isn't bigger than a maxed out great white. So where do the claims come from? Well, not all sources give 18 feet as the max size of a tiger shark. If we look at the National Geographic website, they say, quote, large specimens can grow to as much as 20 to 25 feet in length and weigh more than 1,900 pounds. Wait, what? 20 to 25 feet? That's incredibly long. That's longer than Deep Blue and longer than Kanga and Fifla, 23 footers, or possibly 23 footers, but also kind of light, like weirdly light. I mean, to be fair, the quote is more than 1,900 pounds, but shouldn't it be a lot more than 1,900 pounds? I think we have to try and look at more specific evidence to try and figure this out a little more. There's a very interesting research article from 2014 called Growth and Maximum Size of Tiger Sharks in Hawaii. Now, before we look into the results of this paper, let me just address the older papers that suggested that growth rates of tiger sharks were slower in Hawaii than other places. Of course, the tiger shark is found in a wide range of temperate and tropical regions around the world. The thing is though, the older papers had a very small sample size and the method used to estimate growth was unvalidated vertebral ring counts. The newer 2014 study, however, used a larger sample size, 420 tiger sharks, and they used mark recapture methods to empirically measure growth of animals between two points in time. They found that tiger sharks in Hawaii grow twice as fast as previously thought. Okay, so they grow fast, but how big do they get? Well, the biggest shark they measured out of 420 sharks that they caught between 1993 and 2013 was 464 centimeters long, so 15.2 feet. By the way, I'm using total length here, so tip of the nose to the center of the caudal fin in a straight line. It is interesting that a 15.2 female was the biggest they caught, and it's also interesting how uncommon this size was. For example, about 10% of the sharks caught were at least 400 centimeters, so a little over 13 feet. 
but only two of the 420 sharks caught were larger than 450 centimeters, so 14.7 feet. So only 0.005% of sharks caught were close to or around 15 foot long. It seems that even 15 footers are pretty rare. Now you might be thinking, well, maybe the 15 footers will keep growing and become gigantic, or I guess more gigantic. But remember, this study also measured the growth rate of tiger sharks. And while they experience rapid growth when they are young, by the time they get to about 10 to 15 years, it seems the growth rate slows and levels off. And of course, there are other papers from different areas. A paper from 2001 looking at tiger sharks in Shark Bay, Western Australia, found that the total length of the 252 tiger sharks they caught ranged from 148 to 407 centimeters. So the max length they got was a little over 13 feet. So how do we know they even get significantly bigger than 15 feet? Well, there are some other accounts. In the book, Grant's Guide to Fishes, the Fisherman's Bible, he states there were two 19-footers, 5.7 meters, taken at McKay in Queensland, Australia. However, these lengths haven't been verified. The thing is, there are claims of tigers getting up to some pretty incredible sizes without any real evidence. There are claims from Indochina in the 1950s of a 740 centimeter tiger shark, so that's a little over 24 feet, that apparently weighed 3,110 kilos, but it was never verified. There were also claims from the 1930s that tiger sharks could get up to 910 centimeters, which is nearly 30 feet. And as you maybe can guess, this was also never verified. So some claims are very hard to swallow, but can we get higher than 15 feet? Do we at least have an 18 footer? There is a Nat Geo documentary currently streaming on Disney Plus called World's Biggest Tiger Shark. In the show, the marine biologist, Cory Garza, talks about one of, if not the biggest tiger shark she has ever seen, that she named Kamakai. Now Cory has swam with many tiger sharks all around the world, but none seem to compare to the size of Kamakai. So how big is she? Well, they weren't allowed to capture the animal as the laws around tiger sharks in French Polynesia are pretty strict, which is good as tiger shark populations seem to be increasing around there. But that does mean we have to estimate size. Now, there are photos and videos with Garza swimming next to the shark. So since Garza is five foot eight, it is estimated Kamakai is somewhere between 16 to 18 feet long. So Kamakai may be the largest living tiger shark. There was also a tiger shark caught in McKay, Australia that was 5.3 meters, 17 feet, as part of Queensland's shark control plan, and a 5.5 meter or 18 footer caught there in 1980. So it does seem like 18 footers are definitely possible. Now, please remember that even 15 foot tiger sharks are very rare, and 18 footers are very, very rare. But is there a chance that we can get even bigger? Well, the thing is, reading about Kamakai, I feel like that shark is really pushing the maximum limits. Cory Garza said that her mouth couldn't even close she was so big, and she couldn't really move her fins. So maybe some very, very rare tigers are a bit bigger, but I'm not sure I agree with Nat Geo's 20 to 25 feet. I think if there are bigger tiger sharks out there, they're probably a few inches longer not seven feet longer. Some comments on the white sharks video said that, well, if the average man is 5'9", but the seven foot tall shack exists, then maybe if there are 20 foot white sharks, then maybe there are 25 to 30 foot white sharks out there. But here's the thing, the 20 footers are the shack. They are the giants, not the average. And the same goes for Kamakai. If she really is about 18 foot long, then she is considerably bigger than even other big tiger sharks. Now, I have seen a paper called Evolutionary Pathways Towards Gigantism in Sharks and Rays, or How to Be a Giant Shark, where they suggest that tiger sharks in the early Pliocene, so about five million years ago, might have been bigger than their modern day counterparts. They estimate that tigers could have gotten up to eight meters or 26 feet in length. And this is the same Galeocurdo Cuvier, it is based on estimates though, and I tried to find out how big the biggest fossilized tiger shark teeth were, and they don't seem particularly big. The average size of a tiger shark tooth today is about 2.9 centimeters, 
or 1.1 inches, but the biggest fossilized tooth that I found was 1.38 inches long, and it is from the Pliocene and described as being huge. But doing some very rough math based on that length, we would get a size of about 13 to 14 feet in total length. So, I don't know. Maybe there are other gigantic teeth I didn't find. Maybe tiger sharks were really bigger millions of years ago. But I just hope we find some more evidence and data to support this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the how big can X animal get, let me know. And tell me what animal you want me to look at next. I am hoping to tackle green anacondas at some point. Anyway, thanks very much to my patrons, and thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.